Hello everyone and welcome to the Scuffed Kitchen. Today we are making a delicious savory breakfast treat. English muffins. In case you don't know, English muffins aren't sweet, as the name might imply, and are the base for many delicious dishes like Eggs Benedict. This is a really simple recipe, but the dough handling can be a bit fiddly. More on that later. Let's start with the ingredients. Today we'll need 350 grams of plain white flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, 7 grams of dry yeast, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 egg, 40 grams of butter, 180 milliliters of milk, 120 milliliters of water and a handful of cornmeal. Let's start by activating the yeast. For that, combine the milk, water and sugar. The sugar will be there for the yeast to snack on later. Warm everything up in the microwave for about a minute. The mix should be warm, but not hot. If you can easily pick it up with your hand, it should be good. Give it another stir to fully dissolve the sugar, then add the yeast and gently incorporate it into the mix. Wait for 7 or 8 minutes, so the yeast forms a foamy crowd. Then set everything aside. Next, we'll prepare the rest of the dough. First, melt the butter. Be careful not to blast it full force, as the butter can splatter a bit. Now it's time to mix everything. Start with the flour in a large mixing bowl. Add the salt and stir. Then add all the wet ingredients. The next step is going to be rather tedious if you don't have a hand or stand mixer. Mix the dough on low speed, then gradually increase it to medium high and mix the dough like this for about 10 minutes. Even when everything is incorporated, continue mixing until the dough is smooth but still runnier than you'd expect. Scrape the sides down, then set the dough aside and cover it with a bit of cling film. The dough now needs to rise for about 2 hours in a moderately warm place. You'll see that it expands massively, which is exactly what we want to get super fluffy English muffins. Next comes the part I always dread, forming the actual muffins. First, generously flour your working surface and hands. Then take the bowl and dump it fast. Give it a few seconds, then remove the bowl. You'll see the sticky mass slowly expand. Cover the surface with flour and gently pat it down, so it's about 2 cm thick. Prepare a baking sheet or something similar with a piece of parchment paper, then add a bit of the cornmeal and spread it around. The next step is to form and cut out the muffins. For that I use a glass or bowl that's about 6 to 7 cm wide. Flour the edges. However, because the dough is so extremely sticky, it can and probably will fail a bit. Here you can see my disastrous first attempt, but no big deal, we can just try again. Try to be as fast but precise as possible. You can shape the dough with your hands on the tray to give it a more rustic feel. Continue punching out the dough until the sheet is full. If there's no space in the dough left to cut anything out anymore, just form a flat surface again and continue. In my case, I got 6 normal muffins and one oversized one. Mm -hmm. 
Now, set the tray aside. The muffins need to rest under a loose piece of cling film for another 30 minutes or so. It's time to bake the muffins. Surprisingly enough, that's done on the stove, in a pan. Heat it up to medium-low. You know it's ready when you stick your hand in and you can feel the heat. Be careful not to touch the hot surface. Add a bit of cornmeal, then gently plop a muffin in the pan. Cover the dough with a lid and let it cook undisturbed for around 5 minutes. Then you can check if the bottom is golden brown. In my case, the dough was a bit under, so I put it back for another minute. Flip the muffin over and cook for another 4 minutes, covered. Surf immediately. To pry them apart, use a fork. As you can see, it's really easy. Surf with a bit of butter. You can add other things as well, like jam or honey. And that's pretty much it. A super delicious treat for the whole family. The crust is nice and crunchy, the inside airy and fluffy, and the taste is just divine. Do give this a try, and tell me what you think in the comments down below. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!